All right, hello, pin builders and pin builderettes. Hey, welcome back. We got a big update coming out for you tonight. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. This will be version 3.10.11. And we have some fun stuff for you. Woo, we are so excited. I'm going to show you some of it right here in our new pin layout called Twisted Circus. This is just a sample machine that we've slapped together that allows you to check out what the new stuff is and we've put some art together for it and whatnot so you can use all that if you want doesn't matter modify it use it tweak it discard it whatever doesn't matter you enjoy yourselves <laughs> let's see all right so we have put habit trails into the game as you can see so look at that how cool is that habit trails all right so what are habit trails you say well let's find out i'm going to start up a game i'm going to put it on automatic and let's see what it does so as you can see the ball likes to roll down the little habit trails and what else is that we see? Oh my gosh, is that what I think I see? A second playfield level up there? Oh no, yes, that's right. We have habit trails and upper playfields. Woo, so exciting. I am excited, can you tell? <laughs> now, not everything in this, in this particular game is hooked up. Uh, I should say in this particular table. And that's on purpose. That's so you guys can hook some stuff up. So you're going to find that things don't really work quite as you would expect, and that's on purpose. You figure it out. You make it work. That way you get used to building pinball machines in Pin Builder, and then you can build your own and upload them to Steam to share with everybody. Woo! And with us. All right. So let's see. What is all this business, and what does this mean? These are habit trails. All the little wire things everywhere. Now this this particular table has a whole lot of them. And that is, you know, pretty much by design. We wanted to just go crazy on those in this one. And it's, it's really just so much fun messing around with these. In addition to having the habit trail system in place, finally, we also added the ability to snap rotation to the 45 degree angle. So that's also in here in this update and we've also added a new kicker hole type that allows for a popper upper which you can see right there in front of us R right there this is what we call a popper upper so it will shoot the ball straight up into the habit trail and it's actually really kind of cool so all right i want to get back to the uh editor and show you how a bunch of this stuff works. Before I do that though, I'm going to go ahead and load up a blank playfield. So let's do that. And the first thing I want to do is press the two key and select in cabinet type deep. Uh, that way we have deep cabinet area to build up some habit trails. And then I'm going to save it, and I'm going to just call this one, whoops, Habit Trails. Okay, so now we have Habit Trails, the table, and we're going to, and we're going to just go ahead and show you what we got in here. So we've added a few new things. First, let me show you the upper playfield part. That's this one right here. You just click that and there it is. That is the upper play field. And you can stretch this out like you do with the plastics. I'm holding down the left alt key and that allows me to grab these little grabbers. You can't grab them individually unless you grab with the alt key held down. And you'll see it says grab right up there too. So, all right, so now that I have that, you may have also noticed this is new, this button up here in the upper right corner, it says upper playfield mode off. Well, if we turn that on, we are now in upper playfield mode, and that means that any objects that we spawn into the game are gonna spawn up there on the upper playfield. 
So you can move them around and they will stay up in the air like that. So that might be kind of odd. If you don't want them to do that, you can just press the number four key or click this. And this is true for everything that you see. So all the stuff you can put up here like so. And um, that's true for inserts and whatever you want to put up there, lights and pretty much anything. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all these components. And what I want to show you now is our habit trail stuff. So if you scroll all the way to the right, oh, before I show you the habit trail stuff, let me show you this. These are new, uh, whoops. These are new ramps that are just stainless steel ramps that you can use to get up or down these uh, these guys here, so that could go like that, for example. We also have two more variations of these. There's a curved right and a curved left type. So if you straighten that out, you can go like that and do it this way too. And we are going to introduce many more variations of those um, as time permits. And let's see, the other new thing that I wanted to show you is the kicker hole. These are gonna default to power of four. You can select the vertical type to use as a kicker to go up into the habit trails, uh, popper upper. So I'm gonna put that up there in the corner and I'm gonna pop in a habit trail. So the default habit trail will be this ramp and you can see there are 13 different habit trail options to choose from. There's a long one, short ones, curves, uh, in all directions and we even have some cool twisted ones that look pretty neat. Um, those are all just fun to play with and I'm just going to go ahead and go back to this ramp and I think I'm going to just move it way up here and I'm going to save this and then I'm going to pop in another one and do a large curve and I'm going to rotate it. So as far as the rotations go and snapping, um, if you hold the, uh, sorry, if you press the X key, it'll snap to its original default position, which is straight to the play field. Uh, and if you rotate it with the rotation option and you get it near a 45 degree angle where you want it to stay, uh, it will snap to that angle hopefully as you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble with that I'm not sure why uh, there we go it's just really f sort of finicky so we'll fix that but this will give you a way to snap to 45 degree angles <laughs> to start with at least sorry it's wonky but we will fix it so don't worry you know we're gonna fix it <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to just move this one way up here into this corner, and then I'm just going to line this one up, and that's pretty much all we need right there. I'm going to spawn in another one, and do a straight long one, and let's, whoops, I thought I was rotating. Let's see if it'll let me snap. Yeah, there we go. All right, you just have to have it very close. So we're going to go up here. We want to make sure that these, uh, these wires are all aligned correctly like this and now I'm going to put another one and this will require one of these little curved small down ones and these are nice these are just to allow you to uh, drop the ball down pretty much gently and I'll just put that like that. So let's let's take a look at that and see what that does. So I save it, press the tab key, and we'll go into this mode. I'm gonna press play and the auto button, and it'll fire it off on its own. And there, you can see just how that works. Very simple, straight up simple ramp. There, all right, let's go put some more cool stuff in there. Before we go any further though, I need to click on this and hold Alt and then scroll or roll, move, whatever, that, that way up there. Okay, so now I want to set this up so that this popper upper will have some function. So I'm going to put a hole 
kicker hole right here. Boop. And let me pull it back just slightly and rotate it so it's pointing to the left. And it's going to kick from here to there. I'll hit save. I like hit and save a lot just in case. If I mess something up, I can just exit out into play mode and come back. Um, that's kind of like an undo for now. We are still working on that, by the way. It's a lot more complicated than it seems like it should be. But here we have our popper upper. And we'll move this. And we're going to put this over here. Make sure it's kind of centered over that. You can see if it is by using the things down there. And is it, yeah, there we go, snapped it in place. Okay, now I want to put in another long straight one. Now you might think, well, wait a second, that's, that's not going to come out of there. But if you press the 4 key or click on this button up here and then move it, boop, it'll pop up to the next level. And now... Now we've got a second level, and I'm going to add another. This will be a side one. And we'll just scooch this over here, like so. Make sure these are pretty well lined up so that the ball won't get hung up in them. That should be fine. Let's add another one. I'm going to save and then add another one. And actually, if you look at that right there, I mean, that's kind of interesting. You could just leave it like this. I was going to have it drop one down, but let's just uh, see what happens if we leave it like that. That's kind of neat. And I know that's just hanging in the middle of nothingness, but, you know, it doesn't matter for right now. So let's see what that does. Here comes the ball. And it's going to kick over and then pop up. Yay! <laughs> so that's essentially some of the basics. Super easy to do. As you can see, the kickers act automatically. You can attach logic controllers to those to set them up so that they will uh, lock the ball if you want. And, and, you know, so you can pretty much do a lot of really cool stuff with, with that. All right, let's go back. And I want to get rid of this one, but uh, I'm going to turn this into a down. Going to move it over here. Got to move it up. And then I'm going to rotate. And move this over. I'm going to make sure that's basically just right on there. You can overlap these, that's okay. You just be careful. Um, what you see that's highlighted, that's all the collision, essentially. So all of all of the wiring is collidable. So balls can roll on top of these wires and whatnot. Not that you would want them to, but I just wanted to tell you that so that you understand that there's no extra collision built into these. It's just literally what you see. So let's see, I wanna drop that down. We'll hit save. And let's go throw something else in here. Let's do a, and I don't want it on that level. So let's turn this this way. Spin it around and put it over here. All right, so now it should roll out there. And then I'm gonna add a couple more. So this one, I'm gonna do a, well, let's see, wave. Let's do a couple of waves actually. So we'll plug that one in right there, and we'll add another one. As you can see, this is super easy, and it is a lot of fun, actually. I am excited about creating some really crazy habit trails that go all over the place. We are planning to add some locks, gates, and other things that are controllable by logic controllers that'll allow you to, like, queue up balls in these maybe for multi-ball or st stuff like that, you know. So we're looking at all kinds of different cool, fun stuff to add. And let's see, let's do a 
twisted curve. These are neat. All right, I'm going to put one more of these guys, and we're going to put this right under the end of this one. And we're going to point it, going to just point it up into the corner, and we're going to give it another couple of power levels. And save. And then one last little ramp or habit trail coming down. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see what that does. All right. Now I'll just shoot it myself. Nice and gentle. <laughs> Yay. All right. Well, there you go. Now, as you see, that's just going to keep on going forever, just like that. <laughs> But you, you now imagine all the cool things that you could do with that. So there you go, you guys. That's habit trails. And you can set them up wherever, however you want. There are a couple of things that you should know. And that is that the glass can affect your ball. So if you build up a really high level like these in the back up here, it's going to run into the glass and you'll have a weird collision problem. So um, you won't have a problem while you're building your habit trail, but you will have a problem when the ball tries to roll through the glass. So just keep that in mind. And speaking of that, one of the things that is important with a deep play field like this one is the um, apron can have balls get stuck on it. So in a so a good way to prevent that is to use these guys. Normally we use these on the play field down there. So you can put one of these down and grab it. Kind of hard to grab from a distance. But you can stretch these guys, you know. So if I press the 4 key and I grab it, it'll pop up. And it's just the right height to put up here. So you can put these up here just like this. And if I spawn one there... You can see those will protect uh, from getting the ball. Oh my gosh, if I could grab that. <laughs> so those will protect from the ball getting stuck up on the glass if it bounces up there or, or something. So, Okay, so that's pretty much going to do it for this update. We have more things in the background that we've done that um, are improvements to the game here and there, little tiny things. Those will be in the update notes. And as far as the DMD goes on the back glass there, we will be working on that probably for the next update. Now, the way we set that up, though, is that is actually just a video playing but we're working on a way for you to be able to load images into it and move them or videos and um, actually just have videos playing behind the DMD, you know, dot effect, the dot matrix effect. So we're looking at ways to allow for that to play out. We're currently not trying to emulate exactly how anyone else is doing this. We're just trying to set up the easiest method for for our users to create those so we don't want to make it so that you have to use a video editor to create them but that might be the only way to get it done and make it look right so we're not sure yet if you have suggestions on that please put them in the comments below or add them to our um, Facebook page or our steam community hub and I guess that's pretty much it for this one we're gonna go up load this and the update and we hope that you enjoy this update as much as we have so far it is so much fun so until next time have fun pin building <laughs>